As it says to you, uh, last night we did a quick video so my nephew could show his friends at work uh, the results of our first spin-up test. And uh, what I found was these magnets were not perfectly parallel. Uh, some of them were turned one at one side or the other. They weren't lined up. So I took the time today to go ahead and uh, make sure everything was lined up good and they were running parallel. And noticed a quite, quite a bit of increase in the output. Uh, one other thing I did notice was uh, these are right out of the box. I don't know if you can look at the magnets, but uh, you can see it's all pitted. And this is what happens when a ma magnet starts to swell up. I mean, this is the worst one out of the bunch. It's really bad. Hopefully, you can see it in the, in the camera there. And the other one, it's right up here on the top edge. You can see where it's all uh, finished. You can actually touch it. And it flexes. So I contacted the uh, magnet supplier and they had me take some photos of it and send them an email. I called them twice and didn't get any kind of response. So we'll wait and see what I hear tomorrow. If not, I'll do a video on their company. But anyway, uh, I still got it out of that package though. I mean, straight out of the box and putting them right onto the motor, uh, the rotor plates. I had three damaged magnets like that. Anyway, uh, after adjusting this, uh, the magnets right, and uh, considerably a lot more spin-up power. It's kind of hard doing this by myself. But uh, I've hit up to 177 volts on it. And it's, it, I'm not even spinning it near as fast as I did last night. It's already over 100 volts. Let's see if I can get it going a little faster here. It starts to rock. There's a... 140 some volts but it, that's spinning it by hand and it's under again it's no under no load so go ahead and see if I can stop this thing here and what I've used is this is one of the jack bolts there's four of these bolts that I use to uh, bring this this whole magnet plate in slide it along and all I do is back back these back out and that lowers it closer to the uh, the other uh, stator and the uh, other magnet rotor and again I've only got uh, an eighth inch gap between the uh, magnets and the stator on both sides and those are 72 pound pull magnets and these have a countersink in the center of them there's one of them right there and you can use a, a number eight machine screw I went and got stainless steel and because uh, it's not a doesn't attract to the uh, Magnets. I can't believe they shipped one that damaged too. But uh, I've bought several different style of magnets from this company. And I always have to buy extra because there's always a chip magnet or something's messed up, just like I showed you there. So I'll see if they make good and send me some replacement magnets, or if they don't, you'll be hearing from me. Anyway, this is setting up, uh, putting out a lot more power. I mean, I hit, like I said, I hit right about 178 volts. I think it's the fastest I spun it up. But here I'm just really barely turning it. You can see how fast this front plate is. And it's over 28 volts. There's 30. But it should do pretty good. But anyway, now I'm getting ready to start working on the uh, tower and the uh, winch system. I'm gonna set up a gen pole and everything. So we'll see how it's gonna work, guys. Anyway, take it easy. We'll catch you later on.